this week's tarot and channel message. Hey guys, so just dropping in to do um, a quick reading here since I'm out uh, doing some channel readings. Um, and so um, this week, if you tuned into last week's uh, tarot and channeled the message, it's about, um, you know, the time for everything coming in, um, you know, working on manifesting things, uh, creating, because uh, like in the, um, we go in the different seasons, you know, and so like the uh, spring is a lot of time for where you plant your seeds so that way by fall that you're receiving what you re planted right and so that's the nature cyclic process um, to creating on an evolutional scale um, you know which source as it's been created you know we have our seeds that we plant even like with food and a lot of animals are reproducing and then as it goes throughout the year you know we have um, the result of that and so that also applies to when we're manifesting so now it was a great time you know as we're moving forward you know playing the seeds and then just keep going with that if you haven't checked out those videos the last two and um, we'll kind of get you caught up on what i'm talking about so as we're going into this week because we also talked about where this this year coming is going to be more about being authentic to yourself and choosing things that are have more meaning and matter to you uh, versus uh, the false perception and what we think we want and then when we get it we don't want it but this is it was about more about taking a deeper look at um, what we really really want you know just what not because a lot of times we'll have like the shiny penny um, scenario going on and what it looks like it's good it may not be good right and so um, it's being more authentic to yourself and it's going to end up with a lot of people uh, shifting out of certain jobs um, different relationships things like that that no longer serve you and so it's part of the masterpiece mastermind if you will um, in creation because nothing stays the same everything evolves and as we're evolving we're changing Right? And so nothing stays the same. And these things happen basically because it is evolution. Nothing stays stagnant. When we become stagnant, um, we kind of suffer, <laughs> you know, um, in those scenarios, right? If we're not always evolving and moving along. So that was kind of the, the past um, information given. But check out those videos. This week is more about just being in presence of, because we're already working on planting the seeds, just be in presence of where you are, what you're working on. Um, are you going against what it is that you're actually, you know, wanting to manifest, you know, and what are you feeding, you know, as far as that goes? Are you in a space of love or are you um, going against the grain of what you're trying to accomplish and having the negative thoughts come in, you know? And so maintaining the garden uh, that you planted the seeds and taking a look at it and just being present with yourself with them. And so there was a little drop in in um, of like a channeling here. So I'll just read that. It says, so the week, of course, is coming up. And so what we are feeding it and what we're giving love it to love, or are we feeding it with something else other than love? Um, and then are we treating others how we want to be treated? And are we treating ourselves the way we want to be treated? Uh, and so if you think about it, it does go both ways. Do unto others as we do unto ourselves, but do unto ourselves first, then others. For we can't give to others what we don't first have to give if that makes sense and so take a look at this uh, this week and focus attention on what brings higher states of being towards love into the picture not matter if you are at whether you're at work or at play it doesn't really matter but it matters how you're being in the world during the play whether you spread love throughout the day. So it all matters in the end to how we are being both to ourselves and to others in the world in many different ways of being to ourselves and across the board. Practice intention of being present in our actions rather than just winging it and seeing how it goes when we arrive. And so that is when we show up in the state of fear, suffering, or lack of awareness, we may not never know unless we're taking the time out to be present and setting our intentions, right? And so it takes the time in the day to be present and observe 
throughout the day. Um, set our intentions to be present. If we aren't, it is all ill effective as we will get there in the right timing. Regardless, the outcome is going to be different, right? And so in the right timing is divine timing for source knows where you live, which is the energy and vibration that you're existing at, which is the eradication of itself and being separate or in oneness. If it isn't in alignment of itself in time to source, which is the line. And you will receive guidance to help guide you back, which is the practice of presence. And so this week, take a look at where you are and practice presence. For the seeds that you have been planting are manifesting. And so feed them with the good intention and love. And the cards that I picked uh, for this week, uh, the, this one is the sun. And so the sun is about uh, rebirth, happiness, joy, new beginnings. Um, and then also it's about could be reincarnation. So starting a new path, moving forward, taking new action and being present with yourself. And then we have the next card, which is the judgment card. Um, and so the judgment card is about, you know, maybe taking a look at your current situation and having aha moments, awareness come in, um, not per se like judging it as in bad and evil and not good, but looking at um, your situation, what do you, um, like kind of like what they were saying, like what are you doing, where are you in the present moment, what are you looking at, are you judging it, um, and so, or are you looking at it in a way of discernment? And so I like that um, this card is kind of representing the, like the little channeling that I did um, for that, because like when we're working on things, we want to keep ourselves in presence um, and not really judge because when we get into that lower vibration, we can kind of keep things from manifesting, if you will, if we're not giving the right energy and vibration to it. So it evolves as we want it to evolve, right? And so manifesting and working on things, you know, just have the sermon, um, observe, be present, not really judge. And if there's things that you're seeing that aren't in alignment, you know, you know, take them and change it, manipulate it, okay? Um, so this is a card about, you know, be just being present, observance, awakening, um, and being present with yourself. And then the next one um, is the um, outcome uh, of it. And you can see he's full of abundance, the money, the plants, the everything, you know? And so what we're putting our energy and intention to is going to be the outcome. And so what we're working on, um, how, what are we putting into it? Are we putting happiness, joy, bliss, love, um, presence with it, or are we putting negative condemnations into it? It's gonna be the outcome. Or maybe not receive it, or receive it in a way we don't wanna receive it. So there can be different options there with that. And also, he's a king. So kings are masterful in what they've done. They are working on it. They're um, developing their skills of creation, right, and manifesting uh, what it is that they want uh, for the right outcome for their journey, right? So that's what that is. Um, but I also kind of like here in the channeling, um, because it said here, which was kind of interesting, um, that source knows where you live, right? And so uh, by, what does it say, in divine timing, source knows where you live, which is the energy and vibration of being in your existence. So um, it's Source knows by div divine timing when you're in that space to receive. And so it helps to bring it into you, right? And so when we're manifesting things, what is the vibration and level that we're, we're hanging out in? Because if we're not in the receiving energy and vibration of it, we may miss it, right, and overlook it. Um, and so like today I had um, uh, some things that I've been contemplating in my own life. And so one of them is this, um, bike that I have and so I've been contemplating it um, whether it's worth getting rid of it giving it to someone selling it and what am I going to do uh, you know what is it more effective for me at this time in my life in this present moment and although it, it's the bike that I have is fun to ride it's just not conducive to my journey right it's more of a fun thing uh, what I'm more needing is something that's more for exercise and staying active, you know, and so with the other bike, it's not 
what it is that I'm needing. So it's being more authentic with myself, more true with myself, which goes along with the cards and the channeling, right? So picking the things that are more important and going on in New Jersey, New Journey with that uh, and redefining it and manipulating it to what is more practical in my life and more authentic to where I am on the journey. And yes, maybe that is something for the future, um, but it's not really uh, appropriate for me in the moment. And so having meditated last night on the situation, because I've been going back and forth with it and my bike's just been sitting there. I haven't been riding it, you know, and so it's just kind of taken up space. Um, so uh, contemplating on that. So I ended up driving down the one road. I was headed over to uh, a bike shop to see, you know, about selling it, getting it tuned up, fixed and whatever and selling it. And so it was interesting that as I was headed there, you know, uh, with that, after having made the decision, you know, information came in and I went over and I was like, oh, it's some, a, a building caught my eye, right? It was almost like this um, uh, tuning, tuning in where it, it pointed me in this direction. I, as I was going down the road, I noticed this building. And so I went over there and there they had, they were buy, they, they buy bikes. <laughs> so I was like, oh, well, let me go check that out. I went in there and sold the bike, right? And so it happened just like that instantaneously. Having that tune in space, energy, and vibration to what you're receiving, um, things can happen in divine timing, which is right away, you know, but if we're not in the energy and vibration, of where we are we're not going to miss we're going to be off in la la land going doing something else and you know kind of going off into um i don't know wherever we're going and it ends up not being the way that we're supposed to go which is the past so um definitely you know source knows where you live and when you're in those vibration energies it can like drop in and then you'll catch it and then you'll be able to go in the right direction right and so that was my journey so far today um before i got out here to do some writing and so i've sold the bike which was instantaneous um after having made the decision yesterday and meditating on it and what was the right direction because at first i had somebody <laughs> right once i made the decision somebody had reached out to me to buy the bike but they weren't giving me enough for it and so by the time I would have gone to the shop to have it fixed I would have not made any money on it not that I'm really wanting to make money but I just don't want to be out of money <laughs> you know with the bike so anyway it all worked out because I got the same amount for it and I didn't have to do anything to it because the place took it as it was instead of this person wanting me to do all these other things to it before they even thought about you know buying it so it all worked out in the end. And so the point in being, you know, when we're in that vibration where information can come in, um, keeping our energy in that space and where we are, we're able to receive the information in the direction um, to help us, right? And so that is part of it, um, divine timing and source knowing where you live, right? And so it's the inner vibration that you're keeping and holding that helps with the manifesting, right? And so every day be present, you know, bring yourself to that. If you have to write it down in the morning every day, you know, this is what I'm working on. And so I have to have a reminder, set yourself a reminder on your phone, whatever it is that you need, write it down, keep it, carry it, put it on stickies, <laughs> you know, to keep yourself present um, and at that vibration level. So it you receive, you know, whether that be you receive it right away or you just receive information or guidance, a direction to go in or whatever it is that it is that's going to help lead you to uh, the creation that you're wanting to receive, right? And so it's just following, following the guidance and keeping your vibration um, at a high level. And if your thoughts go to a place that, you know, is not helpful on your journey um, and just stay, you know, status quo with what is you're working on, right? If that makes sense. Um, so keep feeding it, you know, the good intentions and love and high vibrations and positive energy. All right, um, that's it for today that I have to share on that. Um, so that was just my morning journey and just to add a little bit of scenario to that, um, how that would look. But definitely reach out if you're interested in a session and or drop any questions below. And thanks for tuning in. Happy journeys.